Hello test takers and welcome back to exam prep solutions and in today's video we're doing a surveying problem where we're going to look at some cut and fill areas from a project site. I have the excerpt from the FE manual here showing the trapezoidal rule which is what we're going to be wanting to use for this problem. We have a free guide called the five steps to solving any FE exam problem. You can find that in the description box down below. Anyways let's get into this problem. Find the total volume of fill for the given project site in cubic yards. So we've got four stations here. We have some cut and fill area. And then we need to find what the total fill area is for uh, this project site here. And so whenever you're given stations in a cut and fill area like this, um, this one doesn't have a diagram, but you're going to want to use the trapezoidal rule. And essentially that's just averaging the ends as you would in a trapezoid and then multiplying it by the distance between the two stations. And so you, so you have the stations here, 10 plus 20, 11 plus 20, 12, 20, 13, 20, right? They're all 100 feet in distance between each other. And so we're going to have to use the trapezoidal rule for that. Now, it just wants the fill area. So we're not talking about the cut. That part of the problem is a decoy, okay? So ignore that, and we're going to be looking at the fill. So for the first part here, we're going to have 100 plus 35. That equals 135. We're going to times it by the length, which is 100 feet. And then we're going to divide that by two because we need to use, uh, you know, f of a or f of a plus f of b over two times the x distance. So we need to divide this value by two. So six thousand seven hundred fifty is the first value. Then we got thirty five plus twenty five. Again, multiply that by one hundred. Divide it by two. We get three thousand, and then we have twenty five plus zero. And so that's just twenty five times one hundred equals 20, uh, 2,500 divided by two, and we've got these three values here. And that's where it ends for this problem now, or for calculating uh, the, the volumes here. Now we're gonna add that all up. 6,750 plus 3,000 plus 1,250 equals 11,000. So that is answer C. However, we need to look at the problem statement. Find the total volume of fill for the given project site in cubic yards, not cubic feet. These these values were in cubic feet. This will happen on the test. They'll have these two sets of units. You'll be like, great, I am done with the problem. No, we want it in cubic yards. That's what the answer is looking for. So what do we do? Well, the conversion between cubic feet and cubic yards is simply dividing by 27. And then look at that, we get the value 407. So the answer is clearly A for this one. So make sure to keep track of your units in this problem. We do not uh, want to make that mistake. You don't want to solve the whole t entire problem correct. Think you got it right and then just screwed up the units at the end. So make sure you're keeping track of that. So that is the surveying example problem. Let us know. Do you have any questions down below about surveying problems, any problem suggestions or questions about this specific problem? Anyways, that's all for today and we'll see you guys in the next video.